plastic waste, especially single-use plastics like bags and bottles, indiscriminately disposed, littering the streets of most Nigerian cities. The wastes often find their way into rivers, lakes and oceans, harming aquatic life and disrupting fragile ecosystems. Plastics clog drainage systems, exacerbating flooding during rainy seasons. And since the wastes are non-biodegradable, they contaminate the soil, making it unsuitable for agriculture, affecting food security. When plastics break down into smaller particles, known as microplastics, they can be ingested by aquatic animals, leading to the consumption of contaminated seafood, causing health issues in humans. Everywhere you have plastics being used, so there's a big challenge of how you dispose of them. Because of the design and the manufacture of plastics, they tend to be consistent in the environment. They don't biodegrade. For something that stays that long in the environment, it means it can easily cause a whole lot of pollution. The health of our environment, of our life as human beings, is tied to the health of the environment where we live. So this project, if you support countries to... According to United Nations Environment Program, UNEP report, 400 million metric tons of plastic waste are produced each year. 10% of the waste is recycled, while at least 14 million metric tons end up in the world's ocean. But we also wanted to take definitive steps. Worried forward. by these statistics, world leaders in 2019 gathered in Nairobi, Kenya at the UN Environment Programme meeting geared towards addressing plastic pollution. The meeting culminated in the adoption of what is today known as the Nairobi Treaty. Key among the objectives of the treaty is the prevention of plastic pollution from source, control of its release into the environment, and reducing plastic consumption through initiatives that encourage behavioral change among individuals and businesses. There are some uh, plastic products which really should have alternatives. And again, Nigeria is now going to be under a global framework. So if this convention comes into place, Nigeria will be under the obligations of the convention. Several countries around the world, including Canada, India and Taiwan, have implemented bans or restrictions on single-use plastics. In Africa, Kenya and Rwanda have taken the lead with the implementation of one of the strictest bans on plastic bags, prohibiting the manufacture, sale, and use of plastic bags. Nigeria, with its over 200 million population, could just be the biggest plastic pollutant in Africa, a reason experts say an urgent national policy on plastic use is required. We need to have indigenous ideas, solutions. We have to think global and act local. So all the government needs is to provide an urban environment that will encourage private investors. So government needs to streamline this, uh, some of these ideas and policies and put them in a, in a workable form. The Nairobi Treaty may be the starting point for Nigeria as it encourages countries to share best practices, exchange knowledge and work together towards a common goal. The treaty also provides a legal framework for countries to develop and implement strategies to combat plastic pollution. The problem is in the enforcement of policies and the regulations that have been set. There must be some punitive uh, uh, enforcement for people who are defaulting the regulations and the policies. And then there should be some kind of reward for those who are making efforts to, to follow the rules, the, the regulations and the policies. It is not that Nigeria has not made any attempt at curbing plastic pollution. In May 2019, the House of Representatives passed a plastic bag prohibition bill which seeks to prohibit the manufacture, sale and use of plastics. Known as the Plastic Bags Prohibition Bill 2018, the bill provides that Retailer who provides customer with a plastic bag at a point of sale is guilty of an offense. Since then, however, there has not been any traction of the legislation. As plastic waste continues to destroy the environment,
the country is in a race against time to take necessary action.